February is American Heart Month, and only about 50% of Americans say they know how to perform CPR. Dr. Richard Ferguson, president of Black Physicians of Utah, is here in studio to explain the importance of learning CPR and what we should do in an emergency. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate having you here today. Thank you for having yes. me. Yes. Okay, so this is an important topic because we talk about how we save lives, and this is a part of Black History Month, is also even more important in a community. Yeah, and heart disease right off is the number one killer in America and stroke is number five and it disproportionately impacts the African American community. So I often do a bigger calling to black and Latino Americans that it is important that you get your A1C checked, make sure that you're being screened for high blood pressure and try to get at least 30 minutes of walking or some vigorous act exercise a week, which is recommended by the American Heart Association. But more importantly is cardiac arrest. That can occur when someone appears to go down they lose their pulse, they don't appear to be breathing. About half of Americans think they know CPR, but only about one in six know that you can actually do compression only. This means you don't have to give breaths for adults. Wow. And you can actually be that critical link, that crucial link in saving someone's life. Wow, it's really remarkable. You guys are here trying to help and give us all the skills that we need in case we are called into that emergency situation because you never know when it's gonna happen. I think it's about community resiliency. That's often how I see it. If more, if you know your neighbor, mm -hmm. your colleagues here at work, know if someone goes down, they know how to activate emergency medical services. And part of it is early recognition, activating EMS, beginning CPR, and knowing also how to apply an AED defibrillator. Okay. All of that, if you can get someone to have oxygen restored, uh, <laughs> oxygen restored in their circulation uh, to maintain neurologic health, and that they have a pulse when professionals get there, mm -hmm. that can make all the difference in that person being able to live and be with their family. So I think, why would we not want to spend an hour practicing a skill? BPOU is going to be offering this quarterly. I think that's wonderful. In partnership with the Salt Lake Fire Department on knowing bystander CPR. And you have a special event coming up. Tell us about the event yes. that's coming up next. So our first is February 13th at 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, that's where we're gonna talk about heart health in the black community. Okay. Uh, and what are some solutions? That'll be by Dr. Jessica Jones, uh, leading member of Black Physicians of Utah. Go to our, it'll be on our website uh, to be able to register. It's an online webinar event and their Amazon gift card giveaway if you're able to answer the quizzes. Ooh, okay, I love the incentive, whatever it takes, right? And then the last is uh, March 2nd, we'll be having CPR training at the Glendale Branch Library. Okay, I think CPR training is so crucial. If you've ever been in one of those emergency situations and somebody knows what to do, it, like you said, it makes all the difference. I wish it had um, occurred in my own family. So my father died of sudden cardiac arrest. Well, complications thereof. He was down for eight minutes with two men surrounding him, his friends and they didn't know. And this mm -hmm. is about nine years ago. So I don't sorry. want someone else to go through that again. Mm -hmm. It's just heartbreaking, isn't it? When we yeah. deal with this in so many of our families, for yeah. sure. All right, there are things you can do to prepare and you guys are helping us do it. How do people find out more information about these events? The easiest way is to go to our website, okay. bpou.org. Our flyer uh, will be up on our home slider. Uh, and you can also go to Eventbrite. It's listed publicly there. Okay. Uh, only spots for about 25, but mind you, we will be having this quarterly. So okay. look for it again in May or June. Uh, if you don't catch our March 2nd class. Okay, BPOU, Black Physicians of Utah, an organization that you lead. Yes. And how did that come about? And how long has that been here? Oh, we're coming up on our third year, uh, March 21st okay. to be specific, so very excited. All right. uh, we're actually having a winter awards ceremony if anybody wants to come out and support. That'll be March 16th. Wonderful. So there's all kinds of things going on. We're active. We're okay. all about education and awareness. All right. Thank you for all you're doing in our no, community. No, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. On. Nice to meet you. All right. More information, of course, head online and we'll try to link you at fox13now.com. Right now, time for us to check out the weather for the Utah's Weather Authority.